Hey folks, get stuff set up. Armor red acorn. I mean, it's armored, but it's because of how the lettering is there. That looks almost ready to go. Squirrel Squad. Oh, come on, tablet. My voice is working or not? YouTube gaming froze up on my tablet. This is so annoying. I kind of just start a stream and go. Always something with the tablet. I think the tablet's finally working now. Yeah, I don't think the tablet might be finally working now because some audio coming through. It's really weird that it was causing it to lock up like that. Ah, those scrolls at the bottom. Ah, that scroll is. Fairly smooth. You see a slight, slight jerkiness to the bottom there for the actual letters. Come on. They're the same. There's those little squirrels move. So that's not quite centered, I guess. You said game data. Uh, we got no game data. Couple options. What's the acorn stash? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, we save just for that. So, new game, so what we'll quickly do is. <laughs> yeah, we can check out the uh, in game manual. Click run through. We have information in here. Our controllers. So I got the Wii Remote, the gamepad, <coughs> no Pro Controller, no Classic Controller Pros. Ah. Okay. Back is A, jump is B. Armored mode. Oh, hopefully they'll give a little intro to this. R to scan, add L for armor. Ah, so the sound of music were provided by two different uh, people. Story. 
Yeah, you gotta read a story to everybody. That's nah, okay. I could, but I'm sure you don't want to hear me. Read. Not a cat. Evil kitty cat. Ah, so they got different uh, armor abilities. That's cool. Gamepad just shows like a lock on screen. I'm guessing Gamepad doesn't do it. Start with Flapjack. So you can't use the C-stick to move that, you've got to use the D-pad. How the heck is the stream just okay? Now, pushing 6 megabit. Maybe it's just the way the graphics are, the way it's put through. Drop. <laughs> Let's go. The chase. Oh, that was a what the heck? Frame rate issues right at the beginning. Okay, so we cannot oh, hold on. Okay. So you cannot use the C6. That sucks. Okay, so you have to use the D-pad. Ah. That's not good. Must be able to jump B, but I guess you don't have to do that yet. the object.
That's a lot of bombs. Deeper. I want an acorn! Cool. Leave computer. <coughs> oh. Oh, no point switching characters yet. I'm always just seeing a couple of moves over and over again. Damn. Animation sequence. Player one only can scan. Ah, so a couple things show up on the gamepad then, they go hint and stuff. Yeah, so it's like a little scanner down there. You don't see anything unless you scan stuff. Three hit points. But in the air, you can jump kick. Hey, and X both attack. Why does nothing yet? Scan the walls for more details. You need more than just your normal attacks to break through certain walls. Is my audio acting up again? I heard something, but maybe not. My tablet needs to come back fine. I'm pushing ZL, nothing's happening. Yes, can it? Oh, here's you got a bug in the game. I'm hitting ZL, nothing's happening. Oh, I gotta get closer? No. Oh, I'm play flashing green. I just gotta read properly. Wait, when is he gonna flash green? Am 
I gotta punch it first, okay. I need that bar, I guess, all the way up. Yeah. Ah, and the bar goes down. There's a limited time offer. Hit combo that's supposed to be showing. Why oh, it doesn't do anything still? The jump button turns into that bomb button. How am I hitting you when I'm way down here? That's some, uh. <laughs> Crazy collision detection. So you push back when I jump. Can't turn it off after, just have to wait for it that time out. Acorns, ouch. Oh, <coughs> better to run or jump. You can move quicker. Yeah, so on this collection, religion stuff, I would think it needs to be cute. Because if I'm standing here, I should really jump straight up. Back at all. The four hit three combo that we were showing before is not doing it. Oh. Yeah, my guy was at the bottom, so. That's yeah, definitely an interesting game. A little slow paced, but obviously we're just learning, so I come in. Assuming that's why. That was weird, because the top and put back to the bottom. When you scan enemies with the Wii U gamepad, their HP updates in real time. They start another scan. And while I'm reading the scan, I'm getting my butt hands beat by blocks. <laughs> oh. Big monster. Seven hit points. Oh, 
Look at that combo hits. Really, I'm walking. All of a sudden, I'm on a screen board. But there's not really any any height for the physics. You just walk, and you have to be touching that area. Then. Hmm. Well, I got the acorn. Sweet. Hey, Q, how you doing? Oh, I've tried one character. I guess I can try it. We'll see what happens. Which guy's worse jump back? I may have heard of the game, but then I forgot about it. Then, uh, <laughs> Nextra gave me a, a promo code to stream it and stuff. I just had to find time to actually do the streaming. Uh, did my audio just act up again there? I think it did. It reminds me a little bit like Golden Axe, but definitely needs a bit refining. I pause it. Okay. Waiting for something with Sonic Blast 2. Not sure, or Blast Sonic Blast Man. I'm not sure if I ever played Sonic Blast Man. What does this guy do? Yeah, these have different abilities. Yeah, that was a transform. The R button scans. The scans will only appear on the gamepad. Flying objects can be knocked back towards enemies with the right timing, of course. Yeah, you can definitely see a little bit of frame rate, uh, those chops here and there. Yeah, the armored mode. I can scan bad guys, and it shows me how many hit points there are on the gamepad screen, which is kind of cool.
trying to avoid using my armor mode there because it only is good for a few seconds. I haven't played, though I played that game, but that was like ages ago. Turtles to the arcade. And ironically, it seems as well that, depending on where you are, like, see, I was totally off, off bounds there. But yeah, I was able to still kick it because it doesn't really register the depth properly. Because I was here, but yet, way up here, I was able to smack the, uh, the higher level stuff. I do remember playing uh, TMNT in the arcades or seeing people play it. Yeah, that looks pretty cool back in the day. I have to check it out again. Yeah, you can have objects that you can manipulate. I guess he has a boss now. This is four player local co op. It'd be interesting to have some type of thing. Ah, it's never been like this with online co-op. I guess it is Smash, but no, Smash is different to the... Because it's not really a Golden Axe or TMNT type game. Even there, I was beside it. I should probably, uh, power up. Okay, so this guy does that for its ability. I'm like way over here. Yeah, I can still attack it from over here. Like, that shouldn't happen. Yeah, he's able to hit me too. Which, again, shouldn't be happening. Uh, no, there's no dodge move that I've seen. So my first death. Let's try this one. Yeah, as long as you're moving, it looks like that clown couldn't get you. But as you can see, that other that machine was <clears throat> able to hit me with the bombs. Oh yeah, there's definitely some physics that they have to fix in this game. Or like, yeah, physics mixed with the collision detection. supposed to be a four hit combo but sometimes it doesn't do it like there I did four hits it didn't go into a combo but yet a couple other times after like six hits it went into a combo go like this see that shouldn't be able to happen You definitely shouldn't be able to do that.
Basically, you just play the bottom of the screen. Man. Yeah, they need to fix that big time. All they see like it's <coughs> just doing a scan for where the character is on the screen versus the other objects. See, I was at the very bottom, that thing hit me. I'm doing the time hits. I didn't jump in time. Like, you can hit your button as much as you want, but it only punches so fast. But I guess, yeah, maybe what you're saying is I have to actually time the punches to make them match properly. Just mashing the button over doing the combo. Now the jump kicks, you can definitely move quicker when you're jumping. The jump kicks, they seem to be doing a bit more damage, I think. I'll have to do a scan on the enemy and compare. I already saw all this stuff. I'll do a scan on this guy and we'll find out. There's your 40 hit points. So that's 39. No, same amount of damage. What? The hell wasn't even. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's transform. Oh, I'm so close! There, he's dead. Real flamethrower. Well, looks like maybe timing it. Because it's, yeah, reading missed hits. when it's throwing a punch there. I'll stick with the same guy, just so I can see what his secondary special move was. That's possible, because <laughs> I was watching the gamepad, and the damage went down at like the point one level instead of the full, full uh, like full one hit points. It was like point one, and it was just spinning through it. That probably does a fraction of the score. I wasn't keeping track of the score.
Uh, not sure. I'll have to try. What? He wouldn't jump. Oh, I guess he only one button at a time. Guys, yeah, pulling forward that part there and jumping. I guess you can do pull forward or jump. And this guy. Remember to take into account that the drones are airborne. Try starting your jump lower than the drone shadows. What is that? Uh, I guess that's a bad thing. Oh, I guess I gotta kick these things. I get a hundred points per hit. That gave me two hundred hit points, I think. Come here. That was one hundred each. That was uh, that was too fast. I can't tell. One twenty-five. Yeah, that was 200. Was it? No. That was 400 hit points I got. Or 400 points. For a kick. So Punch gave me 100. <coughs> then Jump Kick gave me 400. But yeah, it said 200 on the screen. I mean, I didn't go into a forehead combo. <laughs> I just magically appeared all of a sudden. That could be. Two two hundred stack together. Why are you not going over? vehicles before the enemies have a chance to pop out. Avoid their front bumpers. Use jump kicks to jump over the front to deliver damage. Am 
my guess is there's a couple two hundreds there that that are just misreading the, uh, the score count. They forgot to change it after. Let's give this a try. Same weapon. Oh, wait. Yeah, so the, lo the B button doesn't do anything on this one. Why I'm able to hit that guy way on top there. I wasn't even in the same uh, plane as him. Oh, no, he just magically spawn up. <laughs> oh boy. I was so delayed that hit. Ah, uh, no. You can't uh, jump out. I tried that. Once you're in armor mode, then you have to wait for the timer to finish up. I'm pushing my buttons and it won't let me get out. There were I was lower down, and I was still hitting the guy from like up here. But yeah, there's definitely a big issue when you're jumping like this, and it's still registering those hits. And just like that, I, I took a jump, and then it registered me. Oh, I think I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> registered me on the top there after I got hit. I jumped from the bottom. Yeah, there's definitely, uh, as you can see, some, some fixes that they need to do. And this is already version 1.1. I'm guessing it either came out as 1.1, because I didn't recall seeing any updates come through. Or there was one, I just don't remember it. Could be wide reach, we'll have to see. Oh, try it again. Your tablet. <laughs> it's hard to know if my stream is acting up or whether it's the tablet. Don't keep moving the drone sideways. Vertical kick straight up. Uh, 
effect of the tablets randomly freezing up, but it could be the feed. He says it's okay, but I'm surprised it's acting up. I'm looking at the network transfer though, and the network transfer is all over the place. Okay. Yeah, so it's not that far to reach that way. But yeah, there's a I guess a hitbox that as long as you're within that specific box area, then it's taking the damage from it. Yeah, that part right here is fine. Activating our gear for this one. See what happens. I hit the wrong button. See, this one's like a... You need the pigger you want to attack people. I guess that'd be good for... Yeah, if, uh, <clears throat> if certain developers widen the punches. I guess the idea of being good if you're playing, like, say, a Hyrule Warrior or something to that effect, where it's like a huge hack and slash, then you obviously want to be able to just take off swarms of enemies with a uh, little effort. This is the North Star. That, I think that's for NES and Game Boy. I think there was two releases for that one. What?
I got more more vans coming up. Yeah, see, you can see right there that the beam lower down <laughs> it took everything out with not plane. The vertical plane. Yeah, I wonder if the game was purposely designed that way, like for this one. Or whether it was an oversight. I'm guessing that Z plane part was an oversight. Oh. Oh, come on, really? That's twice I missed it. Fine. Even here, there's no, as you can see, you need to jump on that thing. It's just, if you have to be touching that part of, I guess, the hitbox on it, then it just... Maybe they just wanted to make it a bit more, <coughs> more challenging. We did the last one. Playing through it was cool. This one wasn't that bad. We can go this one again. No. Why are you being so crazy, Tablet? It is 360p on the tablet, so that should be okay. Yeah, I don't think they just rushed the uh, development of this game just to get something out, or or why the game ended up being the way it is now. You see, there's been a few bugs. Like, how can you not through QA? You know, Realize these bugs are there. You can see there's a couple of frame rates right there. It doesn't happen often, but makes you wonder how this game was developed. Like whether it was Construct 2 or or it was HTML5 or. Probably. Uh, 
need more testing time. Yeah, like the armor abilities and each one having different abilities is pretty cool. That way you try to team up and work together. Every time everyone's with the same ideas, same abilities. So hitting and destroying a drone with the lights still on is worth way more points. That's what the hint they says. We gotta destroy the face. Or destroy the uh A lot more points, like five grand. Much more was before, maybe like five hundred or something. It looks like for pickups and stuff, they are basing on where your feet are for the hitbox. Oh yeah, 200 points versus 5,000 points. Yeah, the music and the sound effects were both done by third parties. Or a specific person within the group. I was looking at the manual, and the manual gave thanks to three different people. One for sound effects, and then one for music. Yeah, the other got the same punch. Do you think uh, different suits? Yeah, they have different combos. These got different armor abilities, though, which is cool. Too, that jumping makes you move faster than walking. You think you'd be at the same speed for that.
medium sized cucumber. Break those barrels, the charges they come down. I'm does to use jumping instead of dashing. Guy's got like 40 hit points up, oh, 42 hit points yet. What? He's not moving. Transform! Ah, hit points aren't moving. It's stuck at 29.6. That sucks. Jump you little. Ah, it's not moving past 29.6. Now it is. 6.6 won't go up. So they limit you. There you go. No, there's nothing wrong with standing under the bombs as long as you don't actually blow up. The moment they blow up, then you take the damage. I'd say between Flapjack and Nightlight, I think those two have the most interesting abilities for armor abilities. <coughs> Getting a lot of damage quick. I guess there is that end guy too, with the with the remote beaming, but that one would be more for bosses.
the boring stages. Psych bike. 3.0. Wonder <laughs> how long the stage goes. I can just crash and end it right away, but I almost did. Now let's go, that reminds me of Golden Axe. Well, I guess, yeah, Turtles and basically any arcade game that's out there use the let's go to move to the next uh, screen. It's like an instant crash, so maybe it's not a bonus stage. Or maybe it was a bonus stage, I don't remember. No, maybe it is a bonus stage. No? Oh, it is a main stage, not a bonus one. Ah. Oh, don't let myself get hit this time. <laughs> oh, it looks like it kept me in the same section? Because there's yellow instead of green. Yeah, jumping well, would be a bit easier, but you don't really need it, I guess. You just matter swooshing up and down. Jumping might make it too easy. Wow, crap. <laughs> These guys knock your hit points down pretty quick. I get zero points because I died. Yeah, there's a bit of space between your your guns there, but that's fine. I don't think that's okay. Uh, see, I was smacking into those things, but yet. Yeah.
I think this gives you the most damage to it right there. Yeah, see, bullets should be going through those couple there, but they didn't. Bullets go in front of and behind enemies. They should be, yeah. So yeah, they're going behind and in front. Missed them all. Oh, another area. Now it's red. Whoa, these are a lot quicker now, or a lot closer together. Yeah, the, the X and the A both shoot. So if you were uh, alternating hammering between the two, you can get a pretty good bolt stream going there. They're shooting bolts at you. <laughs> ah, that's hard to say if I can go that fast with an alternation. I have to be like... Yikes. Uh, if I went fast, I think if I had the old Nest Advantage pad or something, I had the, the dial in, like the dial uh, turbo, I could probably do something like that, but <laughs> my fingers can't go that fast to make it look like a stream. Ah, pretty close though. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a spare remote out, <coughs> so I have no way of testing multiplayer, unfortunately. I 
I'm gonna be dying at the same spot again, aren't I? Man, how many things does it have for this stage? Okay, this is the boss now. I'm guessing for the multiplayer, just multiple guys on the screen. And just having to move their characters around. Yikes! Oh, you can't scan this guy. I don't know how many hit points he has left. Oh, lovely. Rappers. <laughs> oh, look at that. Cheat spot. If that's there on purpose, or they just forgot to um, have the flame go that high. Man, that'd be a lot of dodging, though. Between those two shots there? Man. Is waiting for. Were they actually hitting it on the side there? Oh, I was too. Ah, you gotta be down here. Could be four. I didn't realize I had actually <laughs> hit those arms. I was just too busy 
focusing on trying not to die from all the flames. Ah, that's a little load. Backwards. Man. I should go backwards. That sucks. I guess he didn't think that somebody would make a mistake with typing their initials. Because he didn't realize that down there. Man, I can't use my my retro signature. Oh well. How many stages this game has? Probably getting close. As it seems like the stages are. Uh, well, the first couple stages, they weren't that long, but yeah, as we're getting further in here, they seem to be drawn out more. And there's not really much of, like, fighting, like, compared to those arcade games. It's a lot of walking and dodging and... You have a few guys here and there, but... I don't know, I guess it's a good mix to a point, but it just stages themselves are a little too long. Yeah, I've been streaming... Almost an hour and a half, but the first thing 10 minutes was me looking over the uh, e manual and looking at stuff. I think it's been hour 10 so far. Yeah, not that bad, I guess, for a game. But yeah, the stages. Stages, I guess, could be slightly shorter. Especially that I had, I think, was four, four runs with the bike. Or, the stages can, I guess, stay as long as they are, but keep the player 
uh, more engaged with it. Like, more... Uh, it's hard to explain. <sighs> Yeah, Dungeon Dragon is there, but again, you have a lot of stuff to keep you going. Is you're picking up items and you're, you're fighting groups of enemies and you have different spells and things you can save up for. And yeah, this just seems. I don't know. It's, I guess basic. <laughs> Save and progress. I you couldn't skip, wait, can I skip? Okay, I could skip that, at least this time I could. That new Wonder Boy monster line came out today, I believe, on the Switch. The Dragon's Trap. Basically, all it is, like, the graphics for it looked pretty cool that they did for it. But I think all they really did was they took the existing original game, and it's still the same game, and they just gave it a new, like, graphical uh, refresh. You can dump some new graphics to no graphics. But essentially, it's the exact same game, I think. I don't think there's any actual gameplay tweaks. Could be wrong, I only saw the <laughs> initial trailers and stuff, but. I grabbed a little refresh. Now, waiting for the, uh, the Shovel Knight update to come out. Ironic that it's out in Japan, but yet, they're still waiting for Nintendo to give it a, a release here. Like, if the stuff is already in Japan. Like, it's the exact same content. I guess the, the text would be different, but... It's really, it's all the same stage, it's just redone items and stuff. Different pieces to it. So, but yeah, without for Japan, it should be here. Yeah, I'm hoping that comes out before my vacation's done. Because I want to stream the new campaign for Shovel Knight. If you notice any hiccups with the audio or the stream, you know, just let me know. I've been playing a lot more uh, uh, 60 frames per second now that I've bumped up the internet. But I'm almost ouch wondering if uh, YouTube is having issues with my 60 FPS streams. 
I should just go back to doing 30 at the higher quality instead. The new campaign's out for the Wii U in Japan, yes, but not North America or Europe. Behind with Switch games, Blaster Master Zero I want to play, there's that uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris demo I want to try out, <coughs> I'm curious how good the Tetris game is on it, never played Puyo Puyo. So far my favorite Tetris game is still the N64 version, because of the T-spins and you, know, you, you do a spin into a line. You need those gold and silver blocks which gives you extra bonus points and Yeah, the N64 one is great, especially with the four players. Me and my wife, 
and her friends back in the day, we would have like hours and hours of play sessions on Tetris. We were trying to get the uh, the Seven Wonders built, and so we would be taking turns as four players. I think there was five of us there at the time. One, two, yeah, five of us. And so after every round, we'd swap someone out. So we spend the day just rotating between <laughs> the five of us as four player matches to get all the lines we can get. I think we play that game for like a month straight. Almost every day. For most of the day. I was trying to avoid not getting hit. No, I better have to go through that whole elevator scene again. So I guess at certain points it blocks your your save and your, your progress. Okay, so we're back at this starting point. Playing games like this has me or I have an urge to bring out the old golden axe and stuff. I only have, uh, I think, yeah, Tetris for the WiiWare and a couple releases online <coughs> like that for the Wii. But I didn't really find them to be that great. They're a really basic Tetris game. Obviously, Tetris is basic, but yeah, like the extra features compared to certain versions of it are, didn't hold my interest for that long. So I'm debating on whether Real Pro Tetris with a Switch would be something I'd actually want to buy or not. What the heck was that? Ugh.
That was weird. Oh, really? You didn't notice I was that low on health? Crap, I should have activated my ability. We were the Weaver one seems the most in depth. Hmm. I have to re relook at that one then. Get my old Wii set up. Oh, I gotta go through all this again. Ah. I know there's different modes they had, but. Like there's one where I think you moved the Wii remote. No, I'm thinking of the 3DS one where you have to touch it. Remember, did you manage to get a switch or are you getting a switch? Crisscross, upper right, crossing, okay. Ah, yeah. A graceful explosion machine. I, I was watching someone play that. I don't remember if it was, no it wasn't you, it was someone else. And it reminded me a lot of Defender for the Atari. Because you're just going around blasting left to right, and then get that little mini map on the top, <coughs> which was just like Defender. Do so you enjoy that game? Like, is it basically just a uh, and then shoot him up where you just go for best score? Or... Stage by stage, okay. 
Switch. So it's an actual like story and and boss and stuff like that. They're like Gradius. Go to a point. Initiating. Wait a second. Just checking my feedback quickly. I can see that. Pause. Yeah, they forgot the T in there for initiating. There's a typo. I don't think I've heard of that game before. Yeah, I definitely need to use the uh, super in a couple spots there. The Acorn Award. Okay, so the 12 stages. We're getting there.
once this is done, depending on what time it is, I might be able to get in some, uh, some other game. Either Monster Hunter or Splatoon or something. Hard to say, because it's already 3 o'clock my time. But I'll probably be home in an hour. I'm guessing this is probably going to, well, not be quite an hour, but for at least half an hour for the next three stages. So we'll probably have to do, I'm guessing, Monster Hunter tomorrow. Unless another game happens to come out for another update. Maybe this would be like a, a shorter game, but apparently not. Which is good though, because you don't want a game being too short. Ah, and you got some crazy moon jumping on here. I got a feeling that I'll be tomorrow monster hunting. Or possibly tonight, depends on when she goes to bed. But I got uh, my beds on tomorrow. I don't think that the Shovel Knight update is going to be out probably for at least another week. Waiting for Nintendo to give a release date. I doubt they'll be able to give uh, like the next day release or something. It'll probably be like a week out. I think definitely need to fix that uh, Z death or whatever. It's some of those hits always big when the guys or the uh, uh, the truck was hitting me when it shouldn't have hit me. That's annoying. I definitely shouldn't be able to <laughs> jump across the screen and do attacks like that. Thanks. I'm not a fan of that one compared to the other ones. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. It's the way I landed.
I skip this right now. There goes the pussy cat. Yeah, see, it only shows two there for, for damage, but yeah, they're getting hit with four. So I think the scoring, the scoring graphic, they're using the wrong one. Or it's the right graphic, they just are calculating it wrong. Oh well. That's weird. What? As if I got hit. I wonder what that channel is, that Twin World channel. game out there called Twin World from the Amiga, which is where my mining came from. <laughs> A pair of twins? Oh yes, on Tumblr. Yeah, there was a Tumblr I was trying to set up uh, back in the day. I didn't use Tumblr as my... Uh, my blogging site for doing reviews.
Yeah, on the on that, on that tour of vlogging or YouTube. Ah, oh, come on, brain. Tumblr account. There was, uh, I think it was twins. Yeah, there too. I'm surprised you show that though for more from Twin World. On stage 11, two left. No, I definitely need a bit more to this, it feels like. So I've got, yeah, like, guys coming at you and stuff, but I mean, the collision detection and playing with the stages with the amount of guys you're actually getting and stuff and different options. Yeah, no, it's, it's a good attempt, but definitely needs some upgrades and enhancements. Oh, I can't jump. Like I said, playing something like this makes me feel like I should go back and either play Turtles on Super NES, I think Turtles in Time was on Super NES, or playing uh, Golden Axe or one of those games. Golden Axe is pretty cool. It's there you built up for magic abilities and seeing how much magic you had built up, then, then you had different powers you could release. Never played, never played the Sailor Moon, <coughs> Sailor Moon game, or the Alien vs Predator. Crap, missed it. I may have actually tried Alien vs Predator, I don't remember. Maybe I haven't. That was a quicker stage. I 
I see they got Super Star Soldier on uh, on Wii U now, the Virtual Console. That's interesting. I remember playing the well, I remember playing for Turbo Graphics, but then when the WiiWare version came out, I grabbed that, and there wasn't even a story mode to it unless something was messed up with how I was trying to play it. All the WiiWare version had was either I think it was a one minute mode where you get as much points within a minute. Then there was the five minute play mode. There was an actual story mode to play past the one or five minutes, which really sucked. I was hoping that there'd be, you know, some actual depth to the game, not just the time mode. The uh the Arkanoid they released, so the Arkanoid was pretty cool. I definitely enjoyed the return for Arkanoid for WiiWare. That was fun. Then the Blaster Master. I, I got what halfway through that one. I haven't beaten it. I kinda got <laughs> I kinda got stuck on that Blaster Master one for WiiWare. Ah, so the one, the Turbo Graphics, with the uh, story to it, is an exception. I wasn't aware that Superstar Soldier was initially just a two minute and a five minute, like, timed point collecting mode. Then they came out with Military Madness, yeah, they re-released Military Madness on the Wii Wear. It was okay, it wasn't... No, it definitely wasn't like the Graphics one. Um, this seems to be as good. Or maybe it was just too outdated for me. Where I liked the original and I just couldn't get into the newer one. Okay, it was mainly Gimo just getting the best highest score. Basically, it's a casual game, or it's meant to be a casual game.
they got two colons up there. Another uh, typo. I'm gonna have to recheck the uh, that Turbo Graphics version. I'm pretty sure the Turbo Graphics one there had a normal mode in it. Eat laser, you nut lovers. <laughs> Ooh, I need some nuts. I need some nut and honey. I get it with this. Yep. Let's go! Yeah, there's kind of a few nuts on the ground there. Lots of squirrels. Whiskey pot. Wow, we see some either end sequence or on a stream. And of course I thought I saw a big frame rate drop.
my sweet ride. And some levels are definitely longer than others. Game complete. Two hours and 22 minutes stream. With the first 5 10 minutes. Just going over the manual and looking at things, I think. There's over 2 hours. What a nutty game! <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a bullfrog. They were a good company back in the day. The game was decent. <coughs> no graphics aren't that bad. Definitely. Couple of frame rate hiccups, nothing major. Some definite bugs in the game for depth and attack. Yes, okay. Uh, I could probably, last if I did do a review score on this, I'd probably have. Uh, probably six and a half. I wasn't a solid seven, had some hiccups. You know, it's better than six though. It's, I'd give it that, that mediocre break in the middle. Yeah, six and a half, I would say. It's got potential.
guessing they're going to be making Armored Acorns 2 because of that ending. Unless there's a second quest mode in here. Yeah, definitely improvements to the game. Now I got eight corns, or at least four. Ah, uh, those like conception art and stuff. Start the game. No, nope, it's all over again. Okay. Back out. Yep. Hope that ends up being the case after the nice improvement on the second one. It right, depends on how well this game sold on the Wii U. Let's see, it's 337 my time. Uh, hour. Yeah, I don't know if I'll have time for. I only could probably do a couple of missions. Let's see, I wonder if I should. Uh, I could make. Hmm, it's hard to say because I don't want to start a new stream with. Uh, Oh crap, my brain's just going. <laughs> a new stream with uh, uh, Monster Hunter, if I gotta shut it down in about half an hour. It's maybe she's going for sh groceries and stuff, but she could be here in about half an hour, so. so. We could play off stream for a little bit, get a mission or two done, so she shows up. You're up for that. I'm gonna, uh, I'll jump over to Discord. No point in streaming <laughs> me talking about other games on the title screen of this one. <laughs> okay, so okay, so we'll do that. Okay, so I need to quickly go do a couple things. So I'll get the game loaded on my side. I just won't stream it. Well, I'll stream it on Twitch. Twitch is a quick thing anyway. So okay, all right, yeah. So I'll be back in a couple minutes. So uh, shut this one down. And I'll meet you in Discord.